Hello. So today the question is, how do I set boundaries without being controlling? Something that my clients bring to me in sessions sometimes, they, they want to set boundaries, but then they, they kind of find themselves sort of questioning themselves. You know, they're asking, well, am I being a bit too intense here? Or do I have the right to actually set this boundary? Or you know, is am I am I actually being more controlling rather than actually being assertive? People get a little bit confused about that. So let's have a look at that today. It's really helpful to think about boundaries on three levels. The first level is how do I want to treat other people? And then how do I want to treat myself? And how do I want other people to treat me? Because it's all about relationships, including the relationship that you have with yourself. So if you're thinking, oh, gosh, I want to, you know, I really want to say something or I want to say no, or I want to sort of set some limit in my life for, with this person. But I, I don't know, I, 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 you know, is it OK? Have I got a right to say something like that? Am I being too intense here? One thing you can do that's really, really helpful is to ask yourself this question. When you think about setting that boundary and how you're going to communicate that boundary, the question to ask yourself is, am I coming from love or am I coming from fear? If you're coming from love, you'll have a, a, a lot of understanding for the bigger picture of what's going on with you and this other person, the bigger picture of, you know, how, how can you both be respected here? How can you both be uh, have kindness here? And most importantly, how can you let that other person know that you see their point of view and you validate their point of view and that they're allowed to have their point of view, even if it's completely different from your point of view, you don't agree with it, not your reality, it's their reality. But to let them know that if you're coming from a place of love, it'll be your adult self who's thinking in those terms. You'll be thinking of the bigger picture of everybody involved in this sort of discussion or situation. And you'll feel much more firm and resolute and confident then about being able to have an open communication with them. If you're coming from fear, that's the anxious inner child. And you'll be very focused on yourself and, you know, should I say this and that? How will it come across? And, and what will this person think of me? And you, it means that you'll kind of forget to let them know that you see, you might even not want to see their point of view, but you will forget to let them know that even if you don't agree with them, that they are entitled to their own point of view. You have your point of view and they have their point of view. And you'll forget all that if you're coming from a place of fear. You won't be quite so focused on mutual kindness and mutual um, respect. So ask yourself that question, am I coming, you know, given what I've just said, those sort of criteria of making that sort of a decision, am I coming from love or am I coming from fear? If you're coming from fear, you're more likely to be controlling. If you're coming from love, you're more likely to be setting a healthy boundary. If you are coming from fear, that's okay. It's just a matter of letting go of that fear and moving into a space of love so that you can set a healthy boundary. There's two really good ways to do that. One is a really simple thing to do, and that is just to say in your mind or out loud if you want to, I'm making an intention to approach this from a space of love. That's all you have to do. You don't have to work out all the details. Just say that, and it'll put your mind to work. Your subconscious will find ways to prompt you to be more coming from a place of love. And the other really good thing you can do is to soothe that inner child, that anxious inner child who's worried about this situation, who isn't quite sure of themselves. Just say kind and loving words to your inner child. And by doing that, you will calm the inner child and you'll make space for your more adult, more loving self to actually approach the, the issue that you're having. So that's how you can be less controlling and more about setting healthy boundaries. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up button, the like button below, because when you do that, it means that 
more people get to see the video and then you're helping me to help more people. And do subscribe as well. It's great if you can subscribe because it means that when I put out another video, which won't be long now, you'll know. Okay, bye-bye for now.